In this video, I want to uh, recommend to you only to trade one instrument. Um, as you become a professional, as you work on at least becoming a serious amateur day trader, one of the things that you're going to find over time is that um, you should specialize in whatever you're doing. Uh, day trading, active day trading requires a lot of attention, a lot of focus. Um, you can see I'm just sort of letting the market play out in the background. Um, I don't have any positions on at the moment. But basically, I'm going to keep this video short. Uh, you can find my referral links in the description box below. Apex Trader Funding, Top Step Trader Funding, The Trading Pit, they, these are all prop firms, and American Express Blue Cash Preferred. Um, if you sign up for an American Express Blue Cash Preferred credit card using my referral link, you can get a $75 statement credit and get a $250 statement credit when you spend $3,000 on your credit card within the first six months. So guys, um, it's very easy to add on a whole bunch of different things to look at. You know, there's a lot of different futures that you can look at. You could, uh, you could find yourself trading a number of different markets. You know, I'm just going to add in all of M2K. Uh, MCL, there's the micro crude oil. Um, you could you could find yourself trading micro gold, micro gold futures. You, you know you could, as a futures trader, you could find yourself looking at a whole different slew of markets. And what I'm going to recommend to you here, you could even add in um, euro, euro FX futures as well. So guys, you could find yourself as a as a futures trader looking at a number of different markets, adding on a big uh, watch list. But that's not what I recommend you do, guys. As um, a semi-professional or a hobbyist day trader, you should focus on one market. All right. Every market um, has its own sort of idiosyncrasy, idiosyncrasies that you should become familiar with. You should familiar, familiarize yourself with one market. You should focus on one market. Uh, one of the ways that you might, uh, that I've certainly found in the past that I've damaged my performance is trying to trade too many markets at once. You know, watching, watching all these tickers on the right can be very visually uh, stimulating, um, but it's distracting, guys. So what I recommend that you do is your watch list should be no more than one to three instruments, maybe correlated instruments. But what I do Guys, I simply just follow one market. That's it. Um, I have passive investments. I have certificates of deposit, um, other passive investments, uh, certain crypto investments that are passive. Um, passive investments that you don't need to be watching on a daily basis are fine. But in terms of what you are actively day trading, my recommendation to you from a very pragmatic uh, standpoint is focus on one market. All right, if you're a Forex tra trader, focus on one pair. So, for example, if you're trading Forex, um, you know, trade the Euro USD and only trade the Euro USD uh, or the pound dollar or the cable, uh, cable pound yen. Um, if you're a Forex trader, stick to one pair. OK, your mind only has so much capability, only so much room to maneuver. Uh, and over time, guys, you want to sort of automate the process as much as possible. And so without... Uh, overly extending the length of this video, my basic message to you is focus on one market. Don't try and day trade all the different products. Um, don't try and be cute. Don't try and overtax yourself. Simply focus on one market. And over time, you will find that you'll, you'll become more familiar with the way that that market moves. Um, you'll be comfortable with the risk allocation. And overall, guys, it's just the best way to go. Focus on trading one market. Okay, guys, in this video, I recommend to you, well, I'm not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice, as you know. Uh, but my recommendation for you in terms of day trading and active trading is only to trade one market. Okay, guys. Bye-bye.